Hey guys, it's your girl Leash and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, it is 5.51 in the morning and I, today is surgery day. Um, so today I get breast augmentations at 6.45, so we gotta leave by 6. And um, I actually had to take a shower with this surgical scrub they gave me and um dial i had to wash my hair with dial it's kind of my hair is like feels rough as fuck right now but um kind of nervous i'm actually really nervous this is a day and this is my outfit joggers with some slides and you have to wear a zip up jacket, so that's that. All right, so I got everything ready. My pillow, my drinks, my blankie, and my shades. My surgery is at 6.45 and I'm, it's actually 6.03 and we have them at my house. <coughs> Do something for the camera. I'm just trying to take my mind off. How you doing? Getting their medication. All the piercings out. How you feel? Good, actually. Feel like what? It's, it's not as painful as I thought. It's gonna be. Like, they're so dry. My lips are so dry. <laughs> like, literally, it's not as painful as I thought it was going to be. Stop swimming so, so, so close. I see your lips. <laughs> <laughs> are they bad? No? Let me see them I things. I don't remember anything. Let me see them puppies. Huh? Oh my god. Look, Bobby. <laughs> like, I don't remember anything. Like, no, you fell asleep and woke up? Yeah. And thought, like, and thought your surgery wasn't done? I, I don't. where they took me. So I just got out of surgery and it's at like 9.30. I don't know where my phone is. Um, but honestly, my pain is not as bad as I like thought it would be. And a lot of people, I saw so many videos like, and it just definitely wasn't as bad. Um, I was like in and out. Oh my God, I still have like the color. Um, I was in and out, honestly. And by the time I woke up, I was like, what? I'm done? Like, what happened? 
And um, but right now, I have to. We stop at IHOP, and um, my dad's getting me some pancakes and some eggs because I have to eat something before I take my pain pills. But um, I just, I don't. I feel pressure, but I saw a lot of videos, and they were saying like how they would feel a lot of pressure. And I don't feel as much pressure, I don't, I can't even talk. I don't feel as much pressure as I thought I was going to feel. Um, but I do have like a little pain and I told her before I left like I was feeling a little pain. So she gave me more um, pain medicine so... I guess it's not that bad. I just took my pain pill and it's not as painful anymore, obviously, but the first time I took my pain pill, like, I was feeling a bit nauseous, so, like, I had to take my nausea medicine and, like, that helped a lot. Even though I can use my arms to lift me up and I can, like, lift up perfectly fine right now and stuff like they told Jaren to not let me do that because I was gonna end up being really sore and I can already feel it like I'm feeling not so good right now and um, my mom made me like soup and um, I couldn't eat it, like it was just making me really nauseous. I had to eat like this chocolate something. So, this is how they look from the side. I'm like really bloated right now, but. They look like freaking cones, which they're gonna go down and everything with time, and they're gonna draw because they're really high up here. So, this is how I'm icing my boobies right now. I just put a shirt under, and I kind of like cup them to my poop and it feels so nice oh my god it's the best if you're planning on getting your titties done you need to ice them as much as you can like just a cold feeling it's just so nice on them oh my god but I'm ready to go to bed right now I'm tired I'm really tired and the pain pill is like kicking in so, hi guys, so this is day two, I just woke up about an hour ago, it's currently 9.39, and I woke up in so much pain, I'm glad I could sleep though, I took meds around like 10, 11 last night, and then I didn't go to bed till like 1, and then I woke up at 9, or 8, 8, 9, something like that. And I just received a phone call from my doctor. I was supposed to go see him at 2.10 this afternoon. He called me and asked me if we could move it to... Oh, I can't breathe. 2.10.40. So, it's currently 9.40. So, I have an hour and I'm going to change. And, um... I'm gonna, I can't shower, so I made my mom get me, um, wipes, so I'm gonna wipe, I'm gonna wipe under my, underneath my armpits and stuff, cause I wasn't supposed to for, for surgery yesterday, I couldn't wear deodorant, I couldn't wear lotion, I couldn't wear anything, so I'm a little stinky right now, so, and I can't shower, he told me I can't shower. So, I'm gonna do that, 
gonna change. It's kinda chilly out and it's cold and it's freaking gross out. So I'm gonna have to wear a jacket, which is nice because I have to wear up a zip up jacket. And um, it's kinda nice. But yeah, I'm like in so much pain right now. I just took two meds right now because I couldn't, I couldn't take it. Like this one, this boob, I woke up like it was ridiculously sore and just, just like throbbing and oh my god, I don't even know how I did this. Like, this is killing me, but this is day two, and he said that day two is like the worst of all. So, I'm gonna go get ready and... Hi guys, so I'm on my way back to the surgical place. Um, I believe they're gonna take my goss off my scars and actually take my bra off so I can actually see how they look without support and everything they're still really up here but with like a month with time their gravity is gonna pull them down um, I just took my two pills and I'm feeling fine though I'm a little dizzy and I do get really nauseous with all the medicine so I have to take a anti-nausea medicine um, right now my parents are taking me home or taking me home, taking me to the clinic Oye, me pinche taco, so, Johnny. and um, the good thing is like the clinic is only 30 minutes away so that's the nice thing about it Yesterday and he told me to like ice the side of my boobs and like underneath and just keep moving the ice pack everywhere. Um, but it is kind of painful. Um, it's kind of painful that I can't go to the bathroom right now. Um, so I'm gonna take try to take something a laxative to go to the bathroom because it's really annoying me right now and I need to go to the bathroom but I can't and um, I will keep you guys updated where my scars are but I don't I can't remove it until next week Tuesday so I'm just gonna keep them on I'm supposed to take the gauze off there's tape on top of the scars and then I put the gauze on top so when I shower I change the gauze and my boyfriend helps me clean them and I just bought tape and gauzes I need to wash my bra every single day 
So I've been doing that and I had an extra sports bra that was large. So I've been wearing that while I take this off. And, um, and my mom washes it. It's actually really painful when you're without the bra because like it supports your boobs up. So I would not recommend just laying down and not using a sports bra because it hurts. It hurts really bad. So, hi guys. Uh, so this is like the fourth day. Um, I woke up feeling a little better. Like I can actually sleep and like I can actually stretch my arms and my shoulders back and everything. Oh, I think I slept wrong and um, this side is like had a cramp on it. And like I couldn't like do a lot of things. Like I think I just need to stretch like cause there's an air in it or something. I don't know how to explain it, but it's like a sharp feeling where you're like, like I probably laid wrong or something. I don't know what happened, but like, so it kind of hurts now, it's just like, it's sore. Yesterday I was massaging this one a lot because, um, this one seems to be like dropping. I mean, I know it's the fourth day, but like this one seems to like, was dropped a little more than this one. Like this one still feels like up here. I don't know if you can see it, but like, I mean, I, you can't really, but this seems to be like more up here than this one. This one seems to be like a little lower. Um, I guess they look the same, but um, this one has like a cramp in it. <laughs> and it's like, how do I fucking get a cramp in my boot? Because like I can't do anything. So like, so that's. This is even though I haven't gone to the bathroom, my bloating is pretty like it's gone a little bit. I still need to go to the bathroom, so Hi guys, this is like the fifth day. I just got ready and um, I'm actually gonna go get my nails done because um, they're a little crusty. I had like clear nail polish on because of my surgery. So I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm like so tired of being in bed. Like, uh, I just want to get back to work. <laughs> And start doing my daily things because it's frustrating. Um, just being in bed. Um, but yeah, that's what my day, my fifth day consists of. And I'm actually wearing like a big shirt because I'm not used to my boobs yet. And they still like I still have my um my stitches in, so I have to have them covered. And I can't wear a low cut shirt because you can see where it's wrapped. So uh, I'm just waiting until Tuesday to go back and get my stitches done or taken out. And then two more weeks and I'll be like going back to my usual schedule, my normal day to day, everything. Hi guys, so today is the sixth day. Um, I'm feeling a lot better, like I didn't have to take any meds today. Like. It's just pressure, and I just am wearing this cute little top. Um, it's just like pressure on them, but like, and they still feel really, really hard. Um, but I'm not gonna take any meds unless, like, um, I'm feeling like a little, you know, like I need meds. Like, it's kind of. Um, but right now I'm in the car. I'm waiting for my friend Anna to come. We're actually gonna go out to eat. But, um, we actually lost, <laughs> like, I was waiting for her because, like, I don't know where the fuck I'm going. So, hopefully everybody is the same. I got better in a week. Not a full week, because tomorrow is, like, another day. I still, like, am exhausted when I talk a lot. Like, I'm, like, <sighs> like, I need, because, like, there's so much pressure on your chest. Like, like, you feel like you're tired constantly. I'm like, but other than that, like you will love them. Like I love them, and they're they're still like really really perky, and they're not they're gonna drop, and like once they drop, they're gonna be looking extra good. So I'm excited about that. 
and I'm excited about my next surgery. Just kidding, I'm not having a next surgery. That was it. Hi guys, so I got my stitches taken out yesterday and thought it was gonna hurt and did not hurt. Like I didn't feel a single, like I just felt like a little pull or anything. Um, I took a picture of my incisions and I'm, I will actually put it somewhere. Um, but throughout the whole video, it was kind of on my pain medicine, so I wasn't really explaining a lot, but so a lot of, and I posted on my Instagram to see if people had any questions about it. I had quite a few. People wanted to know what size I went to. So I went from being a 32 A cup regular bra, like any brand, to um, to a C cup, up to 32 C. Um, but in Victoria's Secret, I'm a D. Um, Victoria's Secret does run small, so I'm a D in that. Um, the got the implant I got was um, silicone, and it was a gummy gummy silicone, and it was 420 cc's. We were debating between 350 cc's and 400, but um, I asked him to really check like my body because I wanted to go whatever my body would take like the highest my body would take because I wanted big boobs so he decided to go with a 420 that's what the max that my breast pocket could take um and I did get silicone I just sort of said that and I did the under boob incisions where um you like honestly I thought it was going to be like a big big scar because a lot of people that I've seen and a lot of videos I saw like it was like a huge scar but yesterday when like she showed it to me in the in the mirror I was just like I was shocked I was like whoa like it's so small and like obviously with over time like it's gonna fade away and stuff so like that was actually pretty cool um but I also got high profile. We were deciding between like the high profile and the moderate profile. So the moderate profile, he said like, it goes out like more to your sides, like a side boob. And then the high profile to give it to like more to the front, I guess. So like right now, like this is what it looks. I have no bra under, it's just a picture and like, I think it look, they look, I love them, and they haven't even, and they're still swollen, and, um, uh, they're still, like, they're still really, like, stiff, but they're, like, they're not harder, they're not as hard as they were, I mean, they have soft enough a bunch, they haven't dropped yet, like, they're still really up here, um, but I have my checkup in two weeks. And that's when I can go back to doing every single thing. But like right now, I can like, I don't really have a lot of pain at all. After, after my fourth, that's when I get tired. I get really tired when I'm talking a lot. Like, it's like just so much pressure right here. Like, you get tired. Anyways. Um, after the fourth day, I stopped taking the pain medicine because I really didn't need it. Like, it was just like... It was making me feel really, really like down, like depressed. Like I just wanted to be in bed and that was not me like at all. So I stopped taking them after the fourth day and I just stuck to Tylenol. Like I would take two Tylenol, like if I felt really so much pain and I would only feel pain when I was either waking up or I was trying to go to sleep. Cause like throughout the day I would try to like sit up and like just relax. So like that was like my only uncomfortable situation. Um, for the most part, I think I, like, my recovery is going super well. Another very common question, how much was the procedure? The procedure was $7,000. Um, I did go with a friend, so originally the, the cost of it was gonna be, like, up to, like, eight grand or something like that, but since my friend knew the doctor, he, excuse me, he gave me a discount and I was like 
8,500 discount, something like that. So I, we only got to pay 7,000, which was not, so it's not cheap, but you know, it's better than paying 8,000. Um, but he is the best doctor in Sarasota and he did awesome and I would definitely go him, go to him and recommend him always. Um, did it hurt? A lot of people ask me, did it hurt? And I'm like, well, it, you don't feel anything. Like, you don't feel anything for like the first couple days, honestly, because you're on the anesthesia when you get out and then you're on pain pills. So honestly, I don't think it was that bad. And I'm really good with pain. Like I tolerate, I'm high pain tolerance, so it was good. Um, the surgery lasted an hour and 30 minutes and rec I was in a recovery room for 30 minutes. Or no, I was in a recovery room for an hour. And so, it and this, I'm at my boyfriend's house. He took care of me throughout my low moments. Hello, folks. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> oh, don't break it now, now. See, see, that's the problem. Oh, and I broke my nail today. All right, so that was it. Deuces. Thank you.